We know what we value. We know what we know, what we have to do. But the question is, what are we going to do about it from now on? Are we going to seek God, His mercy, His love every Sabbath day? And let us, you know, open our hearts to Him and let us be filled with His good ways, His mercy, His humility, asking for forgiveness? Are we going to do that? Or are we going to just slip it under the carpet? We all well know, very well know, um, what Paul said about the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. But notice that Paul said the fruit, not the fruits. He said the fruit. And I believe that if we truly understand the Sabbath and God and His mercy, that fruit will be in your hearts today. And that's God's blessing. So I ask you, from now on, if, if your heart is touched and if your heart tells you that I will now, from now on, seek God's mercy and faithfulness and forgiveness and love my brothers and sisters and fellowship with Him in a very meaningful way every Sabbath, I want you to raise your hand. Raise your hand. Let me pray for you and leave your hands raised. Oh Lord, there He is. And there she is. We have learned about your love for us through the symbol that you have provided us, the stamp of your love and your authority. Lord, we thank you for this blessed Sabbath day that we can remind it, we can be reminded of your great love for us and your commitment to be, to be there for us, to sustain us and to save us, O oh Lord. And as we contemplate this, this greatness of your love, O oh Lord, I pray that you bless each and every one of us here, that each and every Sabbath day from now on, that we will be filled in the Holy Spirit in our hearts, that we will start to, to emulate and to, to um, show your characteristics of mercy, faithfulness, forgiveness, and love. And may, may the fruit of the Spirit grow into our hearts each more and more as we remember why we truly keep the Sabbath day. We pray this all in the wonderful, wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs>